What up, folks? What's going on? Do y'all know what this is? It's my birthday month. It's not really my birthday. My birthday was June 17th. But either way, it's still my birthday month, and I'm still celebrating all month long until this month is over. And what better way to celebrate my birthday month is to come back to you with another video game review. So this time, I'm not going to be reviewing any classic game from the 80s, 90s, or even the early 2000s. I'm going to be reviewing a game of this generation of consoles for the PS4, Xbox One, or the Nintendo Switch, even though I don't have neither one of those game systems yet. As you can see from this shirt, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to be doing a review on Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for the PS4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch. I've been wanting to do a review on Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy ever since I did a review on the first three Crash Bandicoot games in 2016, 2017, and last year respectively in honor of their 20th anniversaries. So why not three years later, so why not after doing a review of the first three original Crash Bandicoot games, do a review on the recent Crash Bandicoot game, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, which is a remastered of the first three Crash Bandicoot games. So, I hope you guys are ready. This is my sixth video game review of 2019, and my first video game review of this generation of consoles. So, Hope you guys are ready. Without wasting any more time, let's get into my review on Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. And I'm recording this on Wednesday, June 26th, and it'll be uploaded on Friday, June 28th. And the second anniversary of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is on Sunday, June 30th. I'm not going to wear this shirt until Sunday, and I'm going to wear it again on the 23rd anniversary of the original Crash Bandicoot games, Monday, September 9th. But anyway, let's get to my review on Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is a collection remaster of the first three games in the Crash Bandicoot series. Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back, and Crash Bandicoot 3, Warped. Each game features Crash Bandicoot traversing various levels in order to top, in order to stop Dr. Neo Cortex from taking over the world. Like in the original games, Crash uses spinning and jumping techniques to defeat enemies, smash crates, and collect items such as Wampa Fruit, Extra Lives, and Protective Uk Aku Aku Mask. The trilogy adds new features across all three games, including unified checkpoints, pause menus, and save systems, including both manual and automatic saving, time trials, which were first introduced in Warped, and the ability to play most levels in each game as not only Crash, but Crash's younger sister, Coco. It also featured remastered audio and cutscenes, including new recordings of the game's dialogue given by the franchise's most recent voice actors. The positive of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, the remastered version of Crash plays perfectly and exactly like the original version. Even though the voice actors from the previous Crash games, even though the voice actors are from the previous Crash games, they still did a great job voicing the characters and the design looks incredible. And you know, I'll give you all an example of the voice actors of these remastered Crash Bandicoot games. Um, I know Lex Luthor, yeah, Lex Luthor, who started voicing Cortex since Crash to Insanity did the voice of Cortex. Uh, my heart goes to Cortex's original voice actor, Clancy Brown, but I thought Lex Luthor did a hell of a job voicing Cortex. And I know Dr. Nitrous Brio is voiced by Lurie, Maurice LaMarche, uh, brain from Peaky in the Brain, and 
Coco is voiced by Debbie Derryberry, the voice of Jimmy Neutron. The negative of Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I see there is no negativity about this game. Everything about Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is nothing but possibility. So my final thoughts about Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is one hell of a remaster of the Crash Bandicoot series. When I heard that Crash Bandicoot was coming back, I was like, if they're going to bring back Crash Bandicoot, they better bring it back in the right way. And don't fuck it up. Please don't fuck up my favorite video game character. Please. And I have to say, even though Naughty Dog did a tremendous job making the first four Crash Bandicoot games, Crash 1, 2, 3, and Crash Team Racing, I have to say Vicarious Visions and Activision did a great job remastering the first three Crash Bandicoot games. And they just recently came out with a remaster of Crash Team Racing called Crash Team Racing Nitro Field. And I also be re I'm going to be reviewing Crash Team Racing again this September in honor of the game's 20th anniversary. So Activision, Vicarious Visions, y'all did a great job on remastering Crash Bandicoot the right way and let the new generation of kids experience what we experienced about Crash Bandicoot back when we were their age. So Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy gets an official rating. Um, I can't see to give it less than a 10. So Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy for my first video game review of this generation of consoles. You definitely get a 10 out of 10. Hopefully... When I get a PS4 soon, that's the first thing that I would love to play, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. But until then, I'm just going to stick to the original three Crash Bandicoot games that I have. So Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy gets a 10 out of 10. So let me know what you guys think about my review on Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. And for the first time of me reviewing a game of this generation of consoles, even though I don't have a PS4, Xbox One, or the Switch yet. So, let me know what you guys think about my review on Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. My next video game review is coming in three weeks. I'm reviewing the Wii version of Punch-Out! coming Friday, July 19th. Thank you for watching and have y'all selves a good night.